Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church in Edna, Texas. It was a stressful morning. Last week we held the funeral for one of the oldest and most respected members of our congregation. I painstakingly planned how we would keep the proper social distancing. Uh, the ushers were instructed to not let people gather, congregate together in the, the entryway. Uh, masks were encouraged. But I was worried. I was worried about how many people would show up for the funeral. Would the number of people exceed the amount that we could safely social distance in our church? Would we have to turn people away or make them listen from our, our fellowship hall? Well, when the morning of the funeral came, my, my stress levels grew as it became obvious that it was going to be hard for the family to, to not hug each other, to, to keep that, that distance. And I, and I don't blame them. They're family. They were hurting. It's hard to keep social distancing at a funeral. My biggest fear was alleviated when, when I turned around at the beginning of the, the service and saw that we had just the right amount of people there. Many had come, but not too many. We were able to, to keep the, the, the seating arrangement we had set up. The, the rest of the funeral went off without a, a hitch. God's amazing grace, the good news of His forgiveness, and the heaven which Jesus won for us filled the room. Tears were dried, hearts were comforted. And right at the end of the service, before I turned around to, to give the announcements, a thought flashed in my mind. The next time I, I see that member who died, there will be no more social distancing. We will be able to hug Nothing will be able to, to keep us apart. And so I turned around and I, I blurted out to the congregation, go now in peace. And remember this, there is no social distancing in heaven. Then we, I dismissed them and waved to everybody from a distance. and We weren't able to share the, the handshakes and hugs we normally do at the, after a funeral. Social distancing stinks. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I disagree with the overwhelming amount of scientific evidence and experts that say it helps to keep the, the COVID-19 virus from spreading. All I'm saying is that I miss giving handshakes and hugs. I hate wearing a mask. In his letter to the Philippians, the Apostle Paul wrote, I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. When you run a race, it helps to keep your eyes on the goal, on the finish line. It keeps you motivated. It keeps you focused. It keeps you from, from straying into the other lane. Years ago, I ran a marathon. It was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. The last few miles were extremely painful. The one thing that kept me going was thinking about how good it would feel to cross that finish line. I could picture the, the cheers and hugs from my family and friends as I, as I crossed. Picturing heaven, looking ahead to heaven, doesn't take away our present problems. We still hurt, we still struggle, we still cry. But it does put our pains and problems into perspective. The joy Jesus won for us in heaven is forever. The joy which is waiting for us in heaven will make all of this seem like nothing. So when you find yourself struggling with social distancing, when you when you find yourself fidgeting with your uncomfortable mask, when, when you find yourself stressed out at the store trying to stay six feet away from the person in front of you, remember this glorious truth. There is no social distancing in heaven.